Okay, hi everyone. Uh, we're drawing our golden ratio calipers in Autodesk Inventor. Before you do any of these drawings, what you really want to do is sketch them in your notebook uh, with all the dimensions and the isometric. So here are the calipers all drawn in Autodesk Inventor. This is my assembly. I've drawn these four parts and then the one bolt and then I constrained them and this is how the calipers open and close. Um, you get a pretty good view of what they look like in Inventor. And then from there we go to Mastercam where we cut them out. So let me go through drawing some of these parts first. So the first thing I want to do here is go new part. Maybe a standard part. I'm going to create a 2D sketch. It's very important. I want to draw on the YX plane. So looking down here, YX. I'm going to draw on the YX plane starting at the origin. YX. And then when I extrude, I'm going to extrude back into negative C. Okay, so I'm going to start with a rectangle, snap at the origin. The length of this is 11 space 3 eighths of an inch long. I hit tab. And then the height is going to be 5 eighths of an inch. I hit enter. And let me view it there. So that looks right, 5 eighths of an inch. Let me go back to the top view. And the way I'm going to put a point on this is, probably have a better way to do it, but the way I'm going to do it is with the rectangle. I'm going to snap here. I'm going to draw over 1.5 inches and snap it at 5 eighths. Okay, and then I'm going to create a line. And it should snap right at the midpoint there to there right it there to there okay and then I'm going to go back and delete some of these excess lines here oops I think I deleted too many there but that's okay um, so let me go back to this view and then I'm going to recreate a line from that endpoint right to that point of intersection and that point to that point of intersection it's good. Let me delete that line. There's my wood piece. I'm going to actually finish this sketch. Uh, fit it in the screen. I'm going to extrude it. And again, I want to go back into the Z direction. And this is really pretty key to draw on Y and X right here. And then extrude back into Z if you're going to take these files into Mastercam. The wood is a quarter inch thick. And there's my first part. I'll set it to uh, like a birch wood or something like that, birch wood. So there's my first part. You can move it around. I'm actually going to do some more drawings on here. And then I'm going to drill the holes out. Uh, go back to create a 2D sketch on this front face. Zoom out a little bit. And I'll create a line from that midpoint and then I want to go over a quarter inch so over 0.25 enter then I want to create another line that's going to be from right there it's going to be four and a quarter inches over 4.25 so that's it I hit OK well, after I've driven the drawing that line with a quarter inch and a four and a quarter. What I'm going to do there is I'm going to drill a hole and I want to go all the way through and I want a quarter inch diameter so that needs to be set at 0.25 and through all and then I'm going to click on that endpoint and that endpoint and let's make sure those drilled all the way through. So those holes are drilled all the way through. Then I'm going to save this part and really file management here is key. I want to go file, save as. I want to save that. I'm going to have a projects folder, caliper folder, and then I save part one. So here's part one being saved. And when I'm, I'm going to save that part, then I'm going to copy and paste it and create part two. I'm going to call these separate parts. Create part three and part four are almost identical. They're just a little bit shorter. You'll be able to figure those out. And then part five, you could either create this bolt or you could get it off of their content library. Um, I actually have separate parts here, but only one part five. 
And then in my assembly, I'll bring in part one, that'll be fixed. Bring in part two, constrain them. Part three and four, and then a circular constraint and put you know, the four different bolts all the way through. Okay, so make sure you save all your parts, do a good job um, keeping your files managed, and then take those parts and then you assemble them. Uh, an assembly drawing, and then from here you create your working drawings. So there's our calipers, and you can see they open and close, and then the distance from here to here is golden ratio 1.6 to 1, no matter where they are.